Hi, it's Jennifer. I'm here to do your daily vibes for January 31st. And keep in mind that the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. This is my second. I just did one right up until the battery died. But I can't share it because it's too personal. And um, so this one, dear God, angel, spirits, and universe. This is for the collective. Let's just leave me right out of it. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right, so this is going to be for all of you and not me. So let's just see what comes up. Let's just see what comes up. Daily Vibes for Thursday, January 31st for the collective, for whoever this is meant to be for, but not me. I don't want to be included in this reading. I can't share that other reading. It's just, it's. I just can't. It's too personal. Um... So, I'm not going to share it. But it was a long one. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. Dear God, angel, spirits, and universe, let's provide a message for everybody else. This is being optimistic. Needing to be optimistic. It's like the power, the power is in her hands. She has the power. She knows the truth because that's the sword of truth. She knows the truth. She's in control. Somebody is in control of a situation. She's in control of her abundance. Oh. Well, there's some there's some uh despair, right? About a decision. She has to make a decision. That's a that is a decision right there. So there's some sort of, uh, well, there could be some regrets here. You know, there's another opportunity for love. But in order for her to accept the new opportunity, she's going to have to let go of what she's holding on to. And that's painful. Got to let go. We Got to let go of... The emptiness. Because there's an opportunity for love just waiting for you to take it. Perhaps there was a third party situation in which, you know, has caused a lot of grieving. It's caused a lot of sorrow. And it's time to just let it go. Drop it. Just drop it. It's time to, you know, take a rest. It's time to stop hanging on to the pain. Because you have the power to release it. Oh, okay. King of Swords. Now, it looks as though we, we have, uh, I mean, you see what's, you always got to see, like I always say, what's mirroring each other. This is like a perfect match. If somebody could just see it. Stop focusing on the hurt and realize that you have a perfect match. Something that can lead to stability and security and abundance. This woman might be hard to love because she's been hurt. And now her guard is up. She's been hurt more than once. 
and she will only she will only accept something that is stable, solid, and secure. Very independent woman here. We do. We have a very independent woman who is self-sufficient. She absolutely knows what she's worth. This woman. This woman knows what she's worth. She is self-sufficient. She takes very good care of herself. She's abundant by herself. And she's not just going to give herself to anybody except her perfect match. She's a hard worker. She's put in a lot of effort to become abundant. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, this is who she is. She's the Empress. She has multiple opportunities. She's dealt with a lot of pain. And it's like now she's receiving some sort of blessing. A blessing. This woman is receiving a blessing of a perfect match. This is a woman. She definitely knows her worth. There's no doubt. We said it before this card even came out. We have a very worthy female that is beautiful. She's nurturing. She's fertile. She can grow anything. She accepts pain because she knows at the end of the pain she will receive a blessing. She will. She knows that because her life experience has taught her that. This woman is very experienced, very. To become the empress, the empress becomes through experience, life experience. Through pain and suffering, she, re she receives a miracle, right? So it looks as though there's going to be, I mean, threes are that your prayers have been heard. Some, it's like a prayer is being answered. We have a new opportunity for love here. I think there is some sort of communication that is coming through. That somebody has been waiting for. Somebody's been waiting for this. They've been waiting for this delivery. They've been waiting for this communication. They've been waiting for this opportunity. And they had to deal with a lot of pain before they could really even be ready for it or accept it. It looks like somebody has been taking a break and just focusing on their money, focusing on their job, focusing on their finances, focusing on everything but love, right? Burying their feelings, right? Burying their pain because whatever, three of swords right there. I just happened to see it is four of swords, but he's got the power in his hand. This is the three of swords. So somebody has been burying their pain in their work. in everything but love. It's all about the money. You know, I'm going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on my abundance. I'm going to focus on my bank account. Protecting myself. I'm going to protect myself. You know, I'm good. I'm great. I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody. Right? And But, you know, all the while, you know, I don't need anybody really still hurting. Now there's some sort of wake-up call, some sort of clarity, some sort of truth or communication that is coming through because it's time. It's time for the delivery. It's time for 
somebody to get what they deserve, their perfect mate, their perfect match. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom through suffering and now it's like there's a miracle. It's like there's a miracle coming. It looks like we have a, a masculine that has made a decision. He's done his homework. He's a very powerful individual. He is very logical. He's very authoritative. Um, this man is very strong. He's very independent. Um, very wise as well. He can definitely take care of this woman. And he thinks that she is his perfect match as well. Anyway, we, it looks like we have this man who sees this woman's worth. He sees this woman's beauty. He sees this woman's kindness. He, he sees her as the pick. He, she's the pick. The empress is the pick of the litter. And he knows it. He knows it. So I think that we have a man that is like, there's my queen. Yeah, he's wide awake. He's be, he's aware. He he's 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 consciously aware. It's like This is easy. It's easy. We have her that's letting go of a burden. She's grown. She's making a conscious change to let go. grown wise. Somebody has grown wiser through introspection. This time of just focusing on everything but love, inner abundance, self-worth, health, um, abundance, you know, just enjoying life has really served a person quite well. This time of, of uh, solitude has allowed somebody to really see things differently and make conscious changes in their life. Somebody has found a lot of strength through suffering and uh, gentle compassion. And this person sees that this person is very compassionate, loving, and caring. And it looks to me like this person is here to help another person release, release the pain. There's another opportunity for love here. Oh my God. They're up. And this person may not be your usual type. There's another opportunity for love. Love heals. This is love heals. Soulmate connection. There's a choice. And it's unexpected. There's an unexpected choice in love here in regards to, you know, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Now, this usually signifies two options, the past and the future, usually. There's an opportunity to stay here where there's no love or accept the new opportunity. What's it going to be? There's consequences for your choice. 
Be prepared to live with the consequences. There's an opportunity for a union here. Do you want it or not? Love heals. Love heals. Somebody is going to fight for what they want. Somebody's not going to give up. Somebody is going to protect and do whatever it takes to win over their perfect match. They know. We have somebody that is wide awake and knows that this person is the one. And they're going to fight for it. They're going to fight for it. Somebody is going to fight for it. They're like, back up, boys. Or back up, whoever. Back up. This one's mine. See, he's protecting his love. That's what's going on here. You see? He's going to protect this partnership. Because that's where the abundance is. That's where the stability is. That's what feels like home. This is home. So it looks as though there's an opportunity for love that is going to happen unexpectedly. Because this is unexpected. It's like somebody is going to fight for what they believe to be their perfect match. They know. They know. They are wide awake. They see the light. They see that this other person probably has another opportunity and that they're letting go. This person is an empress and she has multiple options. Everybody can see her beauty and she is absolutely letting go. There's going to be some communication that has been delayed because somebody was trying to recuperate or whatever. Trying to bury their true feelings. But now, here we go. Change is on the horizon. The time is now. Right now, the time is now. It's destiny. Something good is coming. Really good. This is a change of course. Somebody is taking a step because this is a card of free will and destiny to fulfill their wishes, to fulfill the destiny that what is meant to be. This is a destined partnership. Soulmate connection. Somebody knows it. They know it. And it's like they're taking action to fulfill this destined plan, this destined contract. So it looks to me as though things are about to change really, really fast. The wheel is spinning in a very good way. And it's going to bring two people together that are absolutely meant to be. And this person is going to fight off the crowd. That's what's happening here. All these, these are people holding these, okay? This guy's like, I'm in charge here. This one's mine. This one's mine. So somebody's about to fight for uh, the love of their life. That's what I see. Be prepared for the unexpected. Expect the unexpected because that is exactly what this is. Remember, I told the universe to leave me out of it. So let's see what happens. Let's go and get one of these. Destiny. Change of course. Good luck. Whatever has happened here had to happen. It had to happen so that somebody could become wiser, so that somebody could wake up, so that somebody could become enlightened as to what love really is. It takes hard work to make something last. You can't give up. 
This is prosperity. To have prosperity, you have to work hard and you can't give up. When you give up, you lose. We have a miracle. Somebody is receiving a blessing. Somebody is receiving a blessing. It's like it's time it's time of delivery. Following your bliss, my soul sings with joy. I've had this deck for a while. I just don't ever use it. Do what gives you joy. Celebrate and have fun. You do not need to suffer to grow. In fact, true happiness comes from following the dictates of your soul. Take steps today to expand your joy. You don't need to do it all at once, but you do need to start. If you don't follow your bliss now, when will you? If you've been waiting to act until circumstances are different or somehow better, you may have a long wait. Some people put off following their North Star until they graduate, get married, have kids, or retire. If you continue to do so, you may never attain genuine happiness. Take steps today to experience the sweet nectar of life. What is blocking you from living a life filled with happiness? Fight for love. We have two people that are meant to be. We definitely have a soulmate connection here. And I believe that communication is going to be coming through. After there's been a period of solitude, okay, there's been a, like a period of introspection. Somebody may have taken a break from communicating. And all of a sudden, there's some sort of miracle. So I don't know. Looks like two people are coming together that are meant to be. Congratulations. I hope this is for you. Somebody's going to fight for their true love. They're going to fight off the crowd. And do whatever it takes to win. Good luck.